hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this tutorial series we will learn about spring boot and what exactly is spring boot as most of you know spring boot is one of the most popular java frameworks in the current time and many organization and companies search for developers that know spring boot so we will learn about spring boot exactly what is spring boot and how spring became so much popular okay so behind the popularity of spring is you know spring boot uses spring framework okay and boot means bootstrap the application with rapid development so spring boot basically provides a good platform for java developers to develop a standalone and production create spring application that you can just simply run and you can simply start it with one of the minimal configurations without the need of an entire spring configuration setup what earlier we are doing in spring mvc or spring code applications as i have shown you in my previous tutorial series in spring core series you know we do a lot of configuration in xml files we define our beans for if we wanted to use annotations we wanted to write up the annotations in spring configuration file in xml and if you do in spring mvc you need to write web.xml in that you need to dis describe the dispatcher servlet and do the filter mappings but not in spring so in spring you don't have to do in any of those things in so let's just get started and see what spring offers so what is spring boot so basically i have already told you spring boots provide a good platform for developing application but the main point is it enables building production grade application quickly so what do we understand by the production grade application quickly so it spring is a framework basically that provides the rapid application development means it is highly dependent on the starter template or the starter poms that we will learn in next tutorials in next videos what exactly is starter poms and how it helps to you know set up our project quickly without you know doing each and every dependency we need to add up in maven or you know in pom so it enables us to you know building up quickly the production grade application it enables the rapid application development rad that has been the feature of spring framework as it is highly dependent upon those spring you know starter projects next point i told you it provides rapid application development it provides common non-functional features it provides the embedded servers like tomcat jetty anytime in your config in your application dot properties anytime or sorry not in application anytime in your pom.xml you can change your embedded server be it if you wanted to have tomcat or if you wanted to have jetty as your server so we don't you know need to add externally any web server and just deploy our application like what would be the like what we do in our spring mvc based application we simply deploy our application in externally in the web servers be it tomcat so it simply provides you the embedded tomcat server or jetty server so that makes us easy to you know test our application in intellij or be it sts we don't you know need to every time we just need to deploy if be it a simple a single line change or any change we just run our application and it will simply display the output no requirement of of xml configuration basically spring uses convention over configuration this line convention over configuration means it spring basically conveys us like if we are going to use the convention provided by this spring then it will automatically do the configuration as spring automatically auto configure all those configuration be it spring security spring data jp spring jdbc or spring web mbc we don't have to do any configuration in spring boot it automatically does all the configuration so in the next video i will explain you like how all these auto configuration work and in next tutorial you know we will see how all these configuration internally works what how does the spring do this automatically is this a magic or like how spring does so basically it decreases the effort of developer like we do xml configuration we again write up those configs in xml or in property files like we do in spring mvc or spring core we have seen in older projects okay and so moving up the other features that spring includes 
easy to integrate with other frameworks jpa or hibernates or strut suppose you wanted to add up your database layer you wanted to do with hibernate you wanted to do with jpa you wanted to add the orm because you don't want to add your you know database dependency so you wanted to add hibernate so it's very much easier to you know integrate your dao layer inside your spring boot application and monitoring and health check so spring also provides us the monitoring and health check feature using the spring actuator using this spring actuator you know we can track all the health and matrices of our application if our application is up or not or how much size has been left on specific server or device so we can also do monitoring and health check with spring so using this feature we can you know enable it enables us we can track a service like if my service is up or it, it's down like then by using this we can check number of times if uh, how much time it hits and we can check that okay so earlier what we do is we use spring framework we use any tomcat server and we do the xml configuration defining bean and all those but spring boot itself is a feature of all those things so we don't have to you know do add our xml configurations or any config file in the property or anything we do not add to externally add our tomcat or jetty servers or we do not have to deploy externally in it so spring boot is a combination of all those things here in this diagram we can see what all spring boot contains it contains starters where it automatically auto configures all those things for us actuator is there through spring boot initializer we can do all those initialization prerequisite of spring boot so for developing this spring boot application we require some of tools so we need java 1.8 or any higher version of jdk java we need maven 3 or any higher version we need spring framework and we need any id be it sts spring tool suit so we have seen like these are all the prerequisites of spring and you know spring boot is designed with certain goals and one of those goals are spring boot starters so what is this starter prom and what is this spring boot starter so basically these starters are a set of convenient dependency descriptors you know which can be easily included in any level in your application you know these starters you can include at any time just cherry pick those from the initializer or anywhere so these starters basically work as a bootstrapping process for the spring related technologies or spring related framework so we no longer need to you know worry about our dependency or just pick from any mvn repository side or any mvn repository and it will just you know automatically manage by spring boot starter so we just need to you know include our starters so these starters basically contains a lot of the dependencies so some of the starters that i have used in my project are starter security starter web starter jdbc starter data jpa and starter test so these starter i told you contains a lot of dependency inside them you don't need to get a project up and uh, you don't need to you know set up a uh, earlier what we do you know uh, doing dependencies single single and adding up in you know maven so these contains a lot of dependency you need to you know get up a project up and just run up quickly and with consistent support of these managed transitive dependency that can say inside them so to summarize these spring boot starters are just basically jar files used by spring boot for auto dependency and for auto configuration in next video i will show you what all these starter pomps are and what i'm talking about this auto dependency word and all those things okay so there are you know multiple options we can create a spring boot application and we will see like how we can create our spring boot application so using spring initializer boot cli using maven using any id project wizard so we will see how we can create so one way is spring initializer so spring initializer let me showcase you so i'm just going to open my web browser and we'll go to spring.io inside this spring.io i'm just going to select spring boot from projects and we can see spring boot itself says that 
it makes it easy to create standalone production grade spring application that you can just run and just test your product and below this there is you can see quick start your project bootstrap your application with spring initializer so i'm just going to click on to this initializer and a pop-up will open where we can just create our project we can select the group name artifact the name description package name and just create our project so from here we can select our dependency so suppose i'm just going to select my spring web only and i'm just going to name my project as spring project or name it as spring boot So it will simply generate our project you can see it has generated our project and the another phase through which we can create our spring project is through any id so this has been downloaded what we have generated uh, let me see okay yeah this has been downloaded so one way is to i just generate this here using import and selecting my existing java double e project and just let me okay it's a maven based project so i just need to you know existing maven project select this and import this and another way is i just need to create using spring tool suit wizard so id wizard using right click on this file and the new spring starter project and i just need to select the name of my application like spring boot app type as maven I select as build automation tool with Maven packaging war or jar jar language Java Java version is 17 or 18 group artifact version and any description or package name click on next selecting the dependency spring web only next and finish so it will hardly take few minutes probably one or two minutes to just you know complete the project process of this project so this has been the basic structure of spring boot project so we can see a main folder has been created java inside this our main application is there annotation at the rate spring boot application is there resources folder has been created where default property file application dot property has been created and test folder has been created and default test main class has also been created jre library is there maven dependencies of all starters are there in next video we will look about these all dependencies of maven starter sorry pom starters of spring boot not the maven starters and target is there and pom.xml is there where all those starters are there so in this ways we can create our spring boot project using spring initializer or id wizard or any maven based project so that's it for today in next video we will learn about how auto configuration works with spring and how this bomb starter works and how this all dependencies of auto configuration works in spring automatically uh, through which we don't have to you know write up in any xml or do any config in xml files so that's it for today guys thank you